I've got a big Azure security announcement that you do not want to miss out on. What's going on guys? My name is Omar and I'm coming to you from Microsoft Dev Radio, the community in which we give you everything that developers need to know about Microsoft Azure in real time. If you're new to this channel and you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification button to be notified every time we drop a video. Also, make sure you hit the link in the description. This will take you to Microsoft's engagement hub, which will give you more tips, tricks, code tutorials, and a bunch of other resources as a developer to grow and become better better at Microsoft Azure. Let's get right into the meat and potatoes. Microsoft Azure will require multi-factor authentication for all Azure users. On a blog post published May 14th, 2024 from Aaron Chaplin, this July, Azure teams will begin rolling out additional tenant level security measures to require multi-factor authentication. Establishing this security baseline at the tenant level puts in place additional security to protect your cloud investments and company. Now, I want people to read this article and I'm gonna link it also in the description because this is very important stuff. People need to be notified about this because they don't wanna miss out on anything Azure related. That's why I'm urging people to subscribe to the channel. But what does this really even mean? Who is this affecting? What do they mean when they say all? Well, I'm here to break that down for you. First and foremost, we want to answer the question of who does this affect? And really, if you're a human, if you're a person who uses Microsoft Azure, this is going to affect you. When they say all users, they literally mean all users who are using Microsoft Azure need to set up some sort of multi-factor authentication. So when me, a person is starting to access specific things, which we're probably thinking of Azure management, I'm now required to have MFA set up and it's going to ask me about my multi-factor authentication. So here I'm talking about the Azure portal. I'm talking about Azure CLI. I'm talking about Azure PowerShell model. Module. And if I'm doing any terraforming or deploying to Azure, this is when it's going to be applied to me as a user. Now, this isn't going to apply if I'm not doing these things specifically. So if I'm consuming like a website or an application or, you know, some sort of site that's sitting on top of Azure, then the MFA is not going to be required. I know that was kind of tricky for a lot of people, but I'm here to clear things up. Now, this is where things can get a little tricky. If I'm a guest and this user has allowed me to you know, consume some of their things, the Azure portal, CLI, I'm still gonna have to abide by all the multi-factor authentication rules. Now, a lot of people are asking, how is this gonna be enforced? And no, there's no conditional access policy for this. This is all gonna be done behind the scenes of Microsoft Azure's resource provider. And the last question people are having is, when are these things gonna take into effect? Well, the timeline talked about July. So this will be a very gradual rollout and you'll get more information and notifications to how this will apply to you and your company and the resources that you use, but don't worry, you'll always be informed. And if there are any updates to share, we'll definitely bring them right to you right here on the Microsoft Dev Radio channel. I hope this helps summarize things for you. Just to recap, if you're a person and you're using the Azure portal, Azure CLI, or you're doing any terraforming to deploy or anything like that Azure related, then you are going to be the ones required to have multi-factor authentication set up in your system. And for more updates as to when these things do roll out, Microsoft Azure will notify you and we'll keep you as updated as possible here on the Microsoft Dev Radio channel. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and make sure you click the link in the description to join Microsoft's engagement hub to be a part of the community. Thank you and we'll see you next time.